We've talked so far about array prototype methods having different sorts of classifications. There are mutators and, you know, there are array prototype methods that help us search. And then there are some that perform common iteration actions like map, reduce, and filter. So what we need to understand is the map method, reduce method, and filter all iterate for us, even though it doesn't, we don't see the loop per se, iteration does happen. So with the map method, we see it creates a new array from an existing array based on running a function for every element on the array. Okay, so we look at this example right here. Here's our existing array, and we're going to make a new array by taking the existing array and calling map. Okay, here's the function. Now this map method runs and it affects each element one at a time. If we say x goes to x times 2, meaning x will be each element in the array one at a time, and every time it finds the next element, it's going to bump them up by 2. Okay, so uh, we can take this understanding here, and okay, we were converting all of our numbers to strings, so we could say something like this, let string nums equal, take the existing array, nums, call its map method, and provide it a function, which we call a callback function. This function will be called by another function, map, for every element in the array. So I'm going to say something like n for number goes to n dot to string. There we go. So every element in the existing array will be converted to a string, changed into an array, and that's what this new array will be. Okay, so see, we have this beautiful little one-liner, much more graceful than the previous way that I performed map. Well, not only that, when we use map, reduce, filter, and all these array prototype methods, we're guaranteed uh, to have uh, best practices implemented uh, by these prototype methods. Okay, now the other one we can do, let's do filter. Filter's not so complicated to understand either. So we'll look at the filter operation here in uh, the array prototype help. See, the filter will do the same thing. It will make a new array from an existing array, but it be filtered down uh, by our provided function. Okay, so let's take a look at this example they give us here in help. Okay, so we have a series of words of various lengths in the current array. And the array is called words. So we're going to take this words array, call the filter method on it, and this function will run for every element in the array. See, with the filter method, your function has to be uh, basically the result of a Boolean question, right? A true false response to a Boolean question. So what is the Boolean question here? Is each element's length greater than a 6? Meaning as it loops, word will be one element at a time. Word will be spray first, and it'll be limit, etc. And every time it loops, it's going to ask this question of each element in the array. Is the length greater than 6? You see the idea filter will reduce this data set down to a smaller number based on only those ones that pass the true-false question. Okay, so in our example here, our true-false question was for filter, give me even numbers. Is the number in the existing array even? Okay, so let's call this even nums. Okay, this will be my new array. It'll be made out of the existing array nums. Okay, I'm going to call the filter method here. And then I just need to understand that in this function, I need to have a true false question. So I'm going to say for every time it loops, n will be one element at a time. First it'll be 10, then 4 and 5, etc. n goes to, and we'd say n modulus 2 equals 0. There's my true false question. Is the current element in the iteration uh, even, right? And if it's even, it'll be pushed into that new array. Okay, so there we go. We should only see even numbers now when I run this program. And there we go, 10, 4, and 50. Okay, now I'm going to pause the video at this point. We'll stop here. We'll spend a bit more time on reduce, and uh, then we'll summarize in another video, map, reduce, and filter with some, some uh, ins and outs. Okay, see you in the next video on reduce.